Hello, folks. Good evening. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I hope uh, it was quiet, kind of quiet last time. If it's quiet this time, make sure somebody tells me. And uh, we're going to get started right away on this IntelliKey stuff. So um, I uh, got a lot of feedback on the IntelliKeys adapters. And as you could probably see in the Facebook group, uh, there's some folks who are really excited about it. Uh, I don't blame them. It's pretty darn cool. Um, and we've been trying to figure out exactly how we're going to manage this, how we're going to distribute this, how we're going to get it out to the people who need it. Uh, and there are some there are some challenges about it. So just to kind of recap what we're talking about, we are talking about, let me turn this image off here. So we're talking about these, uh, I don't know if it'll fix itself, IntelliKeys keyboards and um, we've got some we, we've done a lot of stuff for the IntelliKeys keyboards uh, probably the biggest thing we've done and the biggest impact we've had is uh, we got a version of the drivers out for Windows 10 uh, the existing drivers for these uh, didn't work uh, for Windows 10 if you upgraded to Windows 10 you suddenly couldn't use them anymore and uh, that, that was a huge problem so we reached out to some of the old IntelliTools folks, old, not, well, some of them are old, but um, the folks who used to work at IntelliTools, uh, and they were excited to help us uh, get that uh, work you know, worked out. Uh, we had help from some friends uh, who are software developers who weren't originally IntelliTools people, but kind of are now. Uh, Arjun, the founder of IntelliTools, helped us out in finding some of the right people. Um, Alyssa Wern did a ton of work in uh, making sure that that happened and that that was uh, managed. We've got those new drivers up on uh, the AT Maker site. So if if that's what you're looking for, that was done. And to be honest, I was kind of okay with that. Uh, but it turns out uh, I shouldn't have been. I, um, I met some folks, I went over this a couple weeks ago. I met some folks who uh, really were stuck because of the fact that they used it on a Mac, because of the fact that they wanted to use it on a newer piece of technology like an Android or a Chromebook or whatever. Um, and I went about trying to fix that. So I did, and I'll show you. Um, I think I can show you. Probably have to go to the overhead. But I made a little adapter that fits inside of here. And what it does is it takes the two most common overlays, the QWERTY overlay and the web access overlay, and it makes them work on any device. Um, now, there's already a video showing how this works. So I want to focus on um, how we're going to roll this out. Because one of the things that happened um, even last year was we had people who wanted help with the IntelliTools. They needed it to communicate. And we didn't really have a way to support them other than to say, reach out to your local high school, high school robotics program and have them build you one of these. Um, we're going to try something new. What most people would like us to do, including me, what most people would like us to do at this point uh, is to just start selling them. Uh, to just put up a store on AT Makers and sell these devices and just be done with it. And, and unfortunately, we can't. I won't. Let's put it that way. I won't just do that. Um, I Here in Florida, there are some problems with that. Even though we are a nonprofit, we'd have to collect sales tax. We'd have to register as uh, a pro somebody who's selling a product. We'd also have to um, honor the Florida wor Warranty of Merchantability, which basically means uh, if it's a new product and it's not being sold used, um, which this would be a new product, uh, we'd have to support it. We'd have to support it far better than we can uh, as a charity. Um, so it would, we'd have to take returns. We'd have to uh, be willing to sell any number of them up to a reasonable amount. We couldn't uh, artificially restrict those who got it. We couldn't focus on the people who need it. And, and I've had this conversation with a lot of people over the last couple of weeks. We can't do the easy thing, which is just stick them up on eBay and sell the things. Um, so we're not going to do that. At least we're not going to do that right now. What we are going to do, and, and this is primarily due to Alyssa Wern, so you can all thank her. Everybody go thanks, Alyssa Wern. I'll even do it here. Thanks, Alyssa. 
Thanks. I'll do it mainly because it will uh, uh, we're, it will mean that I'll start to see your comments if there are any. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start a beta program. Um, the beta program will be um, something. So Alyssa said to me, I'm not going to demonstrate these at ATIA unless there's a way for people to get them without having to find a team of makers who can make them for them. And I understood her, her concern uh, and she's not wrong. Okay. So what I did was I reached out to one of our long-term partners, Roaring, Robo Roaring Riptide Robotics in uh, Gainesville, Florida. And I went up there and I taught them how to make these. And I br bought them all the things, all the parts and equipment that they would need to make a bunch of them. A bunch being 50, 40 or 50, uh, 40 or 50 minus the error, so 30. <laughs> so they, they have enough to make a bunch of these. Um, and then we know what it costs to make them going forward. It costs about $25 to make one going forward. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start a, uh, a beta program. Um, you can't ask me to sell you 12 of them. If you need it for communication, by all means, we'll send you one. And there won't be any, any charge for that. Um, I'm putting up a page. In fact, I'll see if I can share it uh, here. So the, we have, this page will be up on AT Makers uh, as soon as this video is over because it needs to be on the page. Uh, and there'll be a form you can fill out at the bottom that says, I'd like an IntelliKeys uh, adapter. Uh, we need your address. We need some information about you. Are you a user? Are you a AT professional? What are you trying to do? Uh, why should we do it? Just tell us something about yourself. Um, the, the main reason for this is to weed out people who want to buy a bunch of them. Um, I, I understand why you'd want to buy a bunch of them. People who've, um, who've dealt with the IntelliTools, IntelliKeys, probably want to get them because they're afraid they're going to go away. And there'll be a one-time moment where you can buy six of them and that's got to last you the rest of your life. That's not the intention. And because we're open sourcing everything, there will always be the ability to make these. Um, there will be no f cost for this. This will be available uh, between now and ATIA. I will launch that page. I'll post it to the group when we do so. Um, those submissions will go to myself and Leanne Brewster and a couple other people, uh, Alyssa Wern. We'll take a look at them. We'll make sure that um, these are folks who are going to understand this is an unsupported product and be willing to give us uh, constructive feedback. We'll send you a note to that effect and we'll send you a device. We'll, we'll ship it to you. Uh, we've got money in AT makers for this specifically. Um, a lot of folks will ask something along the lines of why can't we just make a donation and then you send us the product because that's tax evasion. I've been told repeatedly that's tax evasion. You can't do that. Um, you are welcome. We have a, um, we have a program at AT Makers for IntelliTools, uh, IntelliKeys uh, support. If you make a donation to AT Makers, you can earmark it for that. We'll put it directly towards it. Uh, but we cannot tie that to shipping you uh, an adapter. So um, who do we want to be asking for these? Primarily people who need this for communication. So um, Jefferson. Um, oh, there's a gentleman named Matt. There's a person who just post posted the other day. I forget who wanted a dozen of them. Um, these are folks who are using IntelliTools and IntelliKeys for communication and right now are stuck because they've updated their Mac and it doesn't work anymore. Or they want to use it on a Chromebook and they can't. Uh, these are the folks, folks we're going to get these to first. After that, it would be people who are using it for, um, for supporting others in their classrooms and things like that. The goal here really is not to create new IntelliKeys users, okay? So that's a, a, a big, that's really where the line is. If, the, if you've got somebody who says, oh, my class would do great with these, let me get a bunch of kids who are now dependent on IntelliKeys, we're not gonna send you free ones for that. Um, that's, our goal is to support those people who are unfortunately stuck on a technology that is no longer supported. So hopefully everybody understands that uh, mentality, what that goal is. Feel free to tell me you disagree with me. Um, I, I've heard it. 
Um, I'd love other approaches to how to do this distribution. I will remind everybody that all of our designs are open source and the, the hardware designs are Creative Commons um, commercial share alike. And what that combination means is that if anybody, right, anybody in the world wants to make these and sell them, that's fine. They have to give attribution to us. They have to say this is an AT Maker's design. And any changes that they make to the design also have to remain free for others to use. But yeah, if, you, if we can find, and I, I reached out to, um, to a, a colleague who was making um, assistive technology, open source assistive technology to sell. Uh, if I can find somebody to make them for a profit and you can, they could sell them for $50, I will do that. I, we will have absolutely no problem supporting them, getting them up and running, and then they can take on the tax liability, the um, warranty of merchantability, and all the things that this charity really can't. So if you're in that uh, situation, if you... I can think of people in this group who might want to do that and feel good about helping people while making some cash. Uh, I have a company that makes me feel that way, so that's that's great. But I am not going to start uh, an IntelliKey support company. I'm happy to help you if you'd like to do that. Um, I will give you a heads up that this is probably not the only time you're going to hear this particular pitch from me. Uh, this is another product that I think I will find... Uh, a group of makers to make on a charity basis uh, for people who need it. This is the um, this is the uh, key switch. It is a um, a five port um, a five port uh, keyboard interface that plugs into your computer on, under USB. Uh, it's easy to make. We've got a board that they can make to turn a trinket into something magical, uh, and, it, and it costs about twelve bucks to make. Again, we will probably have uh, a program for those who need it for communication and support uh, where we'll donate it for you. We'll give it to you in support uh, and have it be a charitable donation, a charitable support for you, supported by our donations, while we will probably also try to find some people who are willing to sell those. Uh, we might find joysticks for the XAC. You're going to find... You're going to find a bunch of these things over the next year. We are looking for a good way to do it. If there are any lawyers in our group who would like to help support this, I'm all ears. Uh, I would like a better answer than this, but it is what we're going to do on this one. Uh, as far as what we expect out of the, um, the beta program, let me see here. So it will have uh, the details, the summary down here at the bottom that just says, uh, we're going to provide it free of charge. Um, the, the priority we're going to be giving people uh, can't give more than one at a time. Um, and one of the one of the things we will ask for is for direct feedback. And that will be that's really one of the few things I ha kind of have to ask is please, when something is wrong with these, tell us first uh, before you tell everybody. All right. So uh, other than that, there aren't a lot of expectations for these beta users. Uh, tell us what works and what doesn't. Tell us how we can make it better. Uh, and uh, we will be happy to, to, to take that feedback from you. I'm going to take a quick look and see if I've got any questions. I see a couple people have shared this and a couple people have liked it, uh, but I don't see any comments. So I will uh, make the assumption that uh, it's just me and you all are going to watch this later and type your questions below. I'm going to take this video, put it on that page, and post that up on uh, atmakers.org. When I do that, I will add a link uh, to the blog there, and I'll also post a link in uh, AT Makers, the Facebook group, uh, when that is ready. I appreciate your, your time with this one. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to ATIA. We get to show this off. Um, we have lots of stuff in the gaming lounge that we will uh, that we'll be showing off as well. If you are not, if you are able to be there on Saturday morning, February the 1st, you should do that. Um, it is always the best part of, to me, it is always the best part of ATIA. I am not objective, but I have also heard that it is a great send. It's a great way to end the, the conference, uh, high energy. We're going to have Riptide, uh, this group there, we're going to have Gravy, which has another project like this that, uh, we'll be talking about there. Uh, we'll have, um, folks from, um, Exploding Bacon, which is another, uh, they're always fun names for the robotics teams. 
uh, kids from GRIP from University of Florida, um, all kinds of folks. Therese Wilcom is going to be teaching you how to do Instamorph uh, with Stacey Driscoll. Um, Judy Schoonover is going to be doing her art kit. Makers Making Change is going to teach you how to solder. It's going to be a blast, and it's totally free. You don't even have to be an attendee at ATIA. Just show up at the Crib Royale on uh, – actually, register online. It's free, but you should register so you're not standing in line. So register online at ATIA.org and then uh, show up Saturday morning, and we would love to see you. It will be a blast. I'm going to finish this up, get this posted. I will look for your comments and questions later, and uh, have a great night. Bye.